Welcome back to Celebrity Scene News right here on Ed Magic TV. We are here at the Beverly Hills Film Festival at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Today we'll talk to actors and what they've got to say about what they would do if they could change the world and make things better and what's happening in their career. Check it out. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. And we're here with Aileen Quinn from Annie. Of course, uh, this is the Beverly Hills Film Festival and... <laughs> Here we are. So uh, you're doing working on a Broadway show, and you just got back from Chicago. You did an appearance for Annie. Tell us about that. Yes, well, it's the 30th anniversary this year, so they're starting to show it in some theaters on the big screen, which is really exciting. I haven't seen it in 30 years on the big screen. So, yeah, and I do have a show up and coming called Paradise, which uh, will be playing in Santa Monica first at the Ruskin in September, and then it will hopefully move on to Broadway in the future. Now, you've done off-Broadway and Broadway, as I understand it. Yes. Uh, tell us your feelings about that as opposed to, you know, getting back into television and, of course, films. Well, they're two different animals, and I like them both very much and seem to do them both uh, very well. Uh, I, what I like about live theater is that you get that instant audience reaction, like everyone says. It's nice to see that they're getting the jokes or they're crying if it's a drama. Mm -hmm. But with film and TV, it's much more intimate. You're, the camera is your friend, and you can really get into an imaginary world. So I really like both. And recently, I've been doing some independent films in New York, so it's just starting. I'm starting to get back into film again. When somebody asks you to do a role, does it really matter what kind of role you do? No, um, I do everything. Um, I'm as comfortable with drama as I am with comedy, and I really like all those character roles, but I'm just as comfortable being a victim, someone's wife. It doesn't matter. No, I have a wide range. There's a thing on Entertainment Tonight, where are they now, the stars from before, and when you they think... They say that, don't they? They love that. Where are they now? We don't know where we are. <laughs> but you know, child stars have to make a transgression. They have to move forward, if you will. Transition. 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 So, uh, was it hard for you to trans... Trans, trans, make a transition, transition. transition. <laughs> was it hard? Uh? Actually, in the beginning when I was in my teens, after the Annie contract expired, maybe a little bit because I wasn't a woman a f actress yet, but recently in theater, no, theater's been very good to me and I've played everything from Harpo Marx in a show uh, to Annette in Saturday Night Fever, the whole range, Peter Pan, a boy, so I've done everything in theater, so no, not anymore. What role are you most proud of on the films that you've accomplished? Well, obviously as a child, I would have to say Annie, and uh, I don't think I've hit the one as an adult yet that I will be most proud of. I think I'm working my way there. And Aileen, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this. We're all here today, and <clears throat> we all wonder what's going to happen and the complications of our society. But if you could change something in the world, certainly to make it better, what would that be? Well, myself, because I did um, uh, studies of other languages in college, when I went to the university, I studied other cultures, and I've traveled a lot. I've been fortunate to promote Annie. And I would just say, and how appropriate that I'm going to international film festivals, I really think we all just need to respect each other's differences. We're all very different. I'm a unique person. My brother is different than I am. All our friends are different. My best friend is Filipina. So we all just need to respect each other's cultural differences and to try to understand each other and work together, not fight each other. That's what I would say. Sounds good to me. How about you out there? Work together. Is that uh, easy, right? <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Work together. Work together. That's what we've got to do right here on Celebrity Scene News for Red Magic TV. I'm Pete Allman, and this is Aileen Quinn. See you next time.